Yes, very good. Fantastic. So where are you today, Solange? I'm in my shop. In your shop, which is in? Which is in Paddington, actually. Okay, no. fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so um, uh, very much, um, uh, well, I suppose as back to normal as you can, in fact, that you were able at least to access your boutique, which is... Well, well not, re forward. not really. We're not properly open at all. We haven't really been open. Um, we've been operating, but... Uh -huh. uh, we had one client last week and everybody else has just been, we've just been dealing with remotely. Yeah. Okay. Did challenge time, but um, I know that you've used uh, the time to work on other projects, haven't you? Yes. I've got my, my website is now e-commerce. So I was able to complete that and get that up and online. Um, and I've also designed some great new, rings for my hot lips website but i can't reveal what they are just yet but but, you, but you have got one hot lips to show us the light haven't you i've got a hot lips to show you i've got my rainbow hot lips to show you today oh wow look at that <laughs> absolutely fantastic can, yeah. can you tell me about how hot lips started and how the whole thing came about um well i suppose i used to when I used to write letters to people uh -huh. uh, before email and texting and all of that, I used to kiss my letters, you know, with a, lip, a lipstick kiss. Uh -huh. uh, um, and I think I designed the eye ring before. And, you know, the eye is the window to the soul and the, your mouth is the sen your sensuality. And so I just thought it's like, you know, I need to do the ear next, but yes, it's it's uh, quite nice to have the whole face on your hand if you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the nose ring. <laughs> and the nose, exactly, the nose ring, yeah. Can we, can we have a look at that one again, Solange, because that is a particularly colourful one. Which one? The, the uh, rainbow. rainbow. Have you got more? I've got lots of jewellery here in front of me. Okay, but hot lips, this is the only one. Uh, uh, yeah, in front of me. I can get in front more. Of you. Yeah, I've got. You've got more. I know you've got them in all sorts of colors. In fact, all it's the colors of the rainbow. Yeah. yeah. And would you say it's your best known design, Solange, or one of your I best known designs? It seems to be. I think it's what I'm. I'm most known for. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what people know me for, but uh, I think I, I do. I do love movement in jewelry. That's one of my favorite things as well. I, I think. Um, it's very nice to be able to play with your jewellery and, you know, this is one of my favourites as well. This is my fringe ring. Oh, that was uh, a perfect intro introduction for it. So that kind of moves around on your hand and it, it kind of dances and moves and it's really fun to wear. And so uh, those are, I don't know if we can get the detail, but they are individual diamond set. Is that a bezel setting and then... Yes, there, it's like a, a yeah, an individual. They're all individual diamonds. I, mean, I do, I do a, a more affordable fringe ring, um, but that's the luxury version. <laughs> that's it. So, so movement you like, but all all your jewelry designs, every collection is the one thing we can be sure of is to be surprised by you, Solange. You don't well, need to to hear. Yeah, well, I don't like to. I want to surprise myself, and I don't want to bore myself. So that's why. What's the point of repeating yourself, you know? Um, and it's nice. I've got lots and lots of different collections that people can tap into. You know, they've mm -hmm. all, I've, got, I've got plain diamond jewellery. I've also got very colourful jewellery. Uh, and, you know, I feel like well, it's not that there's something for everybody, but and there's not something for everyone's taste because I suppose my jewellery appeals to a particular kind of person. But... Um, but, you know, there is a range. There is I a mean, range. A person like you, I would say. It's actually quite an, this is another one with movement. It's my secret diamond ring. Okay. And then the lid pops down. And then you've got that little kind of thing that spins around. Oh, so, wow. Can you, can you do that again, Elijah? That nice and high up like that, like you did um, It's, yeah, sorry. No, no. So you, you can hide your diamond secretly. Okay but then you can flip it down, flip that lid down, and there it is in the middle. And then it's oh, got wow. an, an added bonus of movement. 
So yes. I, I think that's for somebody with a playful personality. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not, 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 not your starter ring, is it? It's not a starter ring. No, I think the starter ring, starter ring could be hot lips. Absolutely, yeah, because then you can buy them in silver. Sorry, and then they're in silver, yeah, so you can have them in gold if you want. And then I think this is often a st another start of my starter rings. This is the written ring. And I, the, what does it the, say on that one? This one says forever. Oh, that's so polite of you, Solange. <laughs> I know I couldn't. I couldn't find the other one that you wanted me to. The other one that's not quite so polite. <laughs> the other one, the rude one that a lot of people seem to like. Yes. It's, Funny that. What's nice is that it's, it's a kind of another secret word because it's wrapped around your finger. You can't really, unless you look very closely, you can't really see what Do the whole what's thing. There. Yeah. So it can feel quite powerful to have a rude word on your hand, especially if you're dealing with or working with people you don't like very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at this point, Solange, I'll ask how much of your personality is there in your work? <laughs> um, well, I suppose, you know, I do design things that I'm, I will enjoy wearing and I'm proud to have made. And so, yeah, I suppose, I suppose it should reflect me. Yeah, I mean, I, I have always been my first muse quite frankly yes. because I love jewellery uh -huh. so you know I'm always imagining myself wearing them if I don't own them all this is my purple ring which is sprigs of lavender holding up an amethyst oh wow That's and then green nice. green pave which is kind of like the symbolizing the grass so mm -hmm. again I, I mean I love nature as well very hard to replicate but always a challenge okay can we see that one in your hand like that so large because it's got quite a lot of detail yes. it. where is it oh. a bit higher up that's it a bit higher up yeah okay now we can see it yeah so the there you go so the sprigs yeah. of lavender the pave emerald and then wow. yeah. yeah 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 really beautiful and that was my super nature collection super nature yes <laughs> And um, I know there's a ring that um, has to do with your nickname. Is this, am I right? Oh yeah, which one of my nicknames? Which oh, one? Oh sorry, <laughs> it's my witchy ring. So that that have um, those are diamonds, and they're cut into are they sort of emerald cuts? And well, there's no, they're actually baguettes. Okay, all right, yeah. And then you've got triangles around the side. Yeah, right. So I mean, it's just sort of I think really interesting about how you take diamonds which most people would be quite you know polite with and put them nicely into four claws but not for you right well i don't really see the point of doing that i mean i like to i use um gemstones as uh, a means of painting a, a picture so if i'm using diamonds it's because white is required or clear stones are required mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is this one's great. This one's um, this one's called Moon and Stars. So you've got the stars, star-shaped diamonds, orbiting around a rose-cut diamond. That is so pretty. That is very very romantic. Yeah, very romantic. Imagine that as an engagement ring. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that, would you? I'd love that. Oh, it looks great. It's even got a little antique air about it. Is that because you've used black and gold or? The old cut. Yes, black and gold. I love that antique look about, I love, that's what I loved about uh, jewellery. Uh, mm -hmm. Because the they used to set it into silver so that it could, it would tarnish. Um, well, also because silver was the whitest, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, maybe they didn't realise it would tarnish, but actually I think, I think that's such a lovely look. Yeah, it's a very, very soft look, isn't it? Yeah, very soft look. Yeah. yeah. Good, good. And, and Solange, you are a self-taught jeweler, aren't you? Yes, I'm not, I'm not a craftsperson. I'm a designer. So I, yeah, I learned how to get things made, design and get things made. Um, yeah, I worked for an antique jewellery dealer um, and, 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 I, and also costume costume jewelry company mm -hmm. and 
And I suppose that's how my love of jewellery um, emerged. Right. Yeah. Fresh. And um, <laughs> yeah, and that, that's how it all happened. And, and interiors, of, and interiors, I mean, just from what we can see behind you. So I yeah, interiors, I've, I've always loved um, creating a world. I suppose, I mean, may, yeah, it's mainly creating a world for the jewellery to in, for the jewelry to inhabit really um so and that's so fun i mean i you can i can be a bit more extravagant in my shops than i am in my home although home is pretty colorful as well yeah i, I would say it's pretty colorful <laughs> <laughs> makes us look very dull <laughs> yeah i know because then you, we can't see it all but you've got sort of wild foliage wallpapers you've got bright rainbow yeah, you've got velvet the, oh the, the grape chandelier uh, Fantastic. Leopard print sofa, jungle room at the back. That's it, yeah. Yeah. That is the world of Solange. <laughs> yeah. Very good. And um you you've got um then you've got something like the storm necklace, which is so different, isn't it? Yeah, so the storm necklace was from Supernature. And mm -hmm. uh, in Supernature I tried to portray all the five classical elements of nature. So that's a labradorite cloud mm -hmm. emitting diamond lightning bolts. Oh, they're, they're really jagged and lifelike, aren't they? Yeah, they're very lifelike. Um, so so did, did, you, did you set out thinking, I'm going to find a stone that looks like a cloud, or did you see a labradorite and say, okay. Yes, right. yeah. yeah. I mean, I needed to find a, cl a stone that looked like a cloud. I mean, the ring version of this actually has a rough diamond. Okay. Um, which has the same. But a diamond that size, a rough diamond that size is quite hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would yeah. be create a huge storm, that would. <laughs> they're huge, they're huge. And then I, I remember you launched uh, about, was it four or five years ago in Paris, the, the, the collection that has most surprised me, which is... Cocktails. That's right. You came to that. Yeah. Um, I love that. Yeah, there were only I think I did seven or eight rings, um, and it was a way of using up my stones that were in the safe. I love that. I was using up stones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you know, the trouble with gem dealers is they persuade you to buy things you don't want or need. But well, you, you want them, but you don't need them. So, so I just had to use them all up, and and so my cocktails came from that. So this is, this is, a big emerald that I had in the safe. My goodness, yeah. Here's there. No. We phrase every bit. Did so, I recut? So I'm bit and, uh, yeah, and is it like, a, what so was the inspiration the, behind this? Well, I suppose it was to use up the stones and I, I kind of wanted the stones to vibrate out. That was the idea. So okay. it's like a vibration, a vibrational effect. And then every layer is a different texture. So it's either pave or lacquer or, or um, baguettes. Or enamel, sort so, of a, a real a sandwich, isn't it? It's a sand. It's a party on your hand. I like. <laughs> and, and it's it's also a, to me it's sort of a feeling of outer space, a sort of a space station on your hand. Well, this one's this one's called space station. Yeah, they all have different well, things. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I love that. I, but I love this. And then uh, another collection that I really remember very strong as well as your Scribbles collection. Yes, yeah, Scribbles are great. I mean, they're, they're, they've been really successful, actually. Um, so here's one, which is, again, it was gemstones that I need, I, I just wanted to, you know, use up or, or use. Um, oh. I'm just showing people some interiors. I'm just scrolling along to. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, the more scribbles. This is another so scribble. This is, this is a scribble. It has a it has a a fire opal center and pink sapphires and then pink enamel. Oh, wow. 
So they're all different kind of scribbles that I scribbled around these stones. And how, how did you decide to use enamel um, with, you know, such precious gemstones that normally most designers wouldn't dare mix them up? I'm going to show people another one. Ta -da, look at that. Well, you know, I think, I mean, it's just the same as anything, isn't it? You'd wear a M&S, I don't know, M&S jumper with a Prada skirt, wouldn't you? You know, then yeah. what... Why wouldn't you do that? You can kind of mix the high and the low and it, and it becomes very effective, I think. Definitely. I mean, I think that those are so brave and, and the, the stones look more vibrant than you could you ever see, make them look. You see, the logo that I bought from a gem dealer that I didn't want, but it was so beautiful. That this one, and we're looking at it. That one. And, yeah. And it was so beautiful. And, um, and I think that was the start of the whole collection. Okay. And... and um, yeah, and it's all scribbled at the back. The back of it has got scribbled. I yeah, don't know really. The back of it, here we are. That's the back of, oh, I've, I've got a pair of earrings here, scribble earrings, so you can see the front. Got an emerald and an opal, and then at the back it's all scribbled. That is so unexpected, isn't it? <laughs> so, and it, are those so they're quite sort of good, and I've polished. made them twist around. They're just roughly polished, yeah. So they kind of look quite polite one way and then pow the other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm just going to show some more of your of your uh, pop tail rings just because so people get get an idea of how how incredible they are. That one. That one's the temple. It had an opal in the center. Uh huh. The get sapphires there. Yeah. That is really powerful. And then there's this one here, which is totally different. Yeah, that's the tri die, triangle diamonds. Um, tri die. The tri tri die. Yes. They're absolutely fantastic. Great, and um, you, the, you know, you keep on changing different styles of jewellery. Um, Do you got... think? Stars, you can't tell. I mean, I think you can tell that the jewelry's by me from collection to collection. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe different themes and, and different approaches. Yeah, you... it's different themes and approaches, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The way of exploring any theme that interests me and also exploring the history of jewelry. That's what I like to do. Okay, so um, it, it, how, do you, how do you weave in the history of jewelry? Things like what we saw with well, the. Well, how things are. You know, like using Clicajou enamel, for example, or mm -hmm. or even enamel, or or setting things in a certain way, or blackening. You know, just just kind of just looking back and seeing how things have been done in the past, and and exploring exploring that really with with modern themes or, or modern techniques. Yeah, absolutely. And gemstones are obviously really important to your work because you use colour so much. Uh, how do you go about choosing gemstones? I mean, I know you said some of them get left in the safe, but <laughs> not all of them. Well, no, they get, yeah, I mean, I, generally I design a collection before I buy the stones. So when I buy okay. a stone, I buy it because it's beautiful and it appeals to me on a certain level sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do with it and that's that that's why pop tails and scribbles came about because I thought I love all these stones I have to use them and that's where these collections came from fantastic I, I love the honesty as well because you know people say, <laughs> I inspiration I dreamt about it <laughs> okay 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 and have you still got the us ring there with you Solange no the us ring for some reason isn't here I don't know where it's gone I think it's um, it's with somebody at the moment. Yeah, that that is again another example. They're, those are two rubies, aren't they? Those are two heart-shaped rubies, and those rings were very traditional, weren't they? The two. Yeah. They, what were they, what were they called? They were called. Um, Twi and Here, I've got a picture. Look at this. Yeah, that's the us ring. Yeah. And so um, sometimes they had a little bow, sometimes they had a little flame on top or a ribbon holding them together. And mine is like a heartbeat wrapping around 
um, the two hearts. So it's um, a very modern take on, on something which is incredibly romantic and evocative. Yeah, and, and, and you know, hundreds of years old as an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, my, it's my version of it, yes. Cool. And uh, you showed me earlier you've got a, is it, what's, what's it called? Is it the blood drop ring? Yeah. yeah, the the blood red ring. So um, this looks as if you've cut your finger. <laughs> a paper cut, please. <laughs> a, a paper cut. So it's kind of, you know, dropping down your finger. It's yeah, got wow. it's got little cabochon rubies and it's gold and enamel. And there's one. Uh, I actually did the necklace before I did the ring, and the okay. necklace looks as if you've been bitten by a vampire. Oh, good, but you've got a little puncture. It's just a little puncture with a little drop of blood hanging down, coming down, yeah. Wow, but, but then you do things totally different. I'm gonna, can I bring up this picture of the, is it the, what's it called, how, home or house? The nature. Nature, sorry. That's the nature ring, yes. So it's the blue sky, the green grass, the sun is shining with a little fluffy cloud in the air, yes. That's for I, a happy day. <laughs> sorry? It's for happy days. It's a happy day, exactly. It's kind of, yeah, the perfect day, actually. Um, oh, an English day, I think, looking by that green. An English day, yeah. There was one the other day, in fact. There was, wasn't there? Lovely photo in Somerset of exactly that scene, yeah. Wow. And, and with a ring like this, do, um, do, do you make one and then the next one would be in order or how does it work with you? Um, yeah, I don't make many. It's mm -hmm. probably, I probably have one of everything, one of most things. And then if I sell one, sorry, I keep getting calls. No. I don't know what to do with them. Um, don't, don't disturb. Um, yeah, if I, if I make one and sell it, I might make another one or I'll wait to get an order. Um, but that one's a very, when I have one, I generally sell one of those. Yeah. And those are like, yeah, okay. I, I, they're like little pictures that I paint in gemstones. So I've got a quite a big range of those. They're part of the cosmic range. And can I show the, the, the little house one, the home one? Oh, home, yes. Oh it, oh, it came on top of the other one. How did that happen? Hey, that's perfect. It might be a perfect <laughs> ring with the home in the middle of the nature. Um, <laughs> the, the roof comes up and then you have a heart. The heart of the home is inside the, the little home. And that's... That so um, cute. Yeah. And I think it's even got wisteria growing up there. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of got my front door in Somerset and the wisteria at the back and, yeah, the grass and the little stream. Oh, it's, so, uh, very, so you do bring your world very much into your jewels, don't you? Yeah, I do, I do. It's, you know, it's all... Well, listen, in, inspiration is everywhere, isn't it? And, yeah. Uh, and, and I kind of, you know, you can pretty much turn anything into a piece of jewellery, so... Okay, anything. I... <laughs> You've got to show me something to live up to that now. <laughs> Sorry? Now you have to show me something that proves that anything can be a piece of jewellery. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to challenge you. <laughs> um, well, okay, a daisy can be a piece of jewellery. Here you go. So this is a daisy. Oh, that's so pretty. Enamel. It's quite an old piece, actually. Can but, you hold this a little bit higher, so long as you might. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Oh, that is so adorable. And what, what, what materials do you use for that? That's gold and enamel. So gold on the... Gold, everything is gold and then the yep. colour, been, it's been enameled to colourise it. Okay, well, yeah. Um, We're not, that is very pretty. And then the leaves sort of drape over. And the leaves drop down, exactly. I mean, you know, again, here you go. You've got the lightning bolts. Oh, those must look amazing on, actually. Yeah, they look great. And, and lightning bolts, I don't know if you've noticed, always has the kind of mother bolt that goes down the middle. So I've made those out of baguettes. And then the ones that fly off it, I've done with pave. They are incredible. 
diamonds yeah yeah I think we might have a thunderstorm soon here, actually, the way we're going. Oh, really? No, you. Well, it's got so dark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yes, a good point. Even a lightning bolt can be a piece of jewellery. Yeah, I mean, you know, a sofa even could be a piece of jewellery if you wanted it. On your okay, own. we have got a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and have you got any other jewellery that we haven't seen yet, Solange? Um, well, here's my... This is my lucky number ring. Um, so here you go. It starts off, it's kind of like the numerals on a digital clock. So you've got number eight there. Very and cool. And you can have, depending on what your lucky number is, then you can go to number three. Oh, so, so you can flip them round? So you flip them round. You flip yeah. them round. Um, and then, of course, a little bit kind of complicated. Uh, okay. oh, yeah, here you go. Then you've got number five. <laughs> There's number five. We're all back to front, aren't we? But anyway. Yeah, but there we are. We get the idea. Yeah, it's, um, that's quite, that's a lovely structure as well. And this one, interestingly, I did this, I can't remember which, um, I think this was my everything collection. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was the first design I thought of, but it was the last design to be manufactured because, you know, we had to work out the mechanics of this. And yeah, it's the model, not that easy. No, and the model started off literally this big. The first model was, and then we just got smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, and, and where does all this work happen, so much? You know, you're so hands on, aren't you? Yeah, I'm hands on. I mean, I kind of do everything except make the jewelry. So yeah, but that's what that's what's interesting. I like running the business. I like designing the brochures. I like, you know, making doing live interviews. <laughs> Sorry, doing live interviews. <laughs> doing live. In I like I like doing every part of it. And obviously, I have a team that helps me. Um, you know, do the. The hard bits that you know I'm not so good at technical drawings I'm not good at um, you know attention to detail I'm very, I'm good at big picture so that's you know I like to do all of that fantastic and it's yeah there's a whole world that you create and as we can see so clearly from your interiors even your shirt so large is, is relevant isn't it yeah my shirt is got my rainbow Ooh. oh <laughs> Yeah, it's got my uh, rainbow pattern on it. Oh, that yeah, we can see that, yeah. A friend of mine is a, she actually is a, she's got a company in New York called Tucker, and she created this fabric with my jewellery. Fantastic. Uh, so that's where it came from. Very cool, very cool. And have you got one last piece of jewellery to show us? And I'm just, we're running out of time. So this is, let's say, well, you can have some color. These are the oh, Mayan wow. earrings. Uh, Mayan Mar, actually. So for supernature, ether is one of the elements, the ether. And so the religious temples, I use, I use the floor plan of religious temples to create these. And this, these are the colours of Buddhism. Wow, that is so delicate and so evocative. Yeah, so that, that's those. And is, is that all with gemstones or have you used any other material there? There's a bit of ceramic plating on that. Okay. We've that got gives sapphires, that... emeralds, yellow diamonds, rubies, and then ceramic plate, yes. Yeah, really beautiful. Thank you. Fantastic. And one Ring. Here you go. This is this is the perfect engagement ring. It's called the bi die. So you've got two diamonds. Okay. Like a little a little fairy staircase <laughs> <laughs> of diamonds. There you go. And what diamonds, Solange? That is beautiful. Yeah, that's quite a nice diamond, isn't it? That rose and they're they're rose cuts. Yeah, I love how you graduated them with your little fairy staircase. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you are. So that that if if you're going to do anything that's anything close to a traditional engagement ring, that might be it, right? 
that could be construed as a not really no i don't think so okay a bit <laughs> no a client you know what a client of mine bought one of these and she took it to her jeweler she's french she took it to her jeweler in france to resize it because uh, it was a little bit big and when she went to pick it up he'd put the diamonds side by side and she said what have you done and he said on ne cache pas les diamants we do not hide diamonds <laughs> designed it because he was so horrified by the way I'd hidden half of it half oh of the my diamond. goodness you rebel you Solange <laughs> upsetting the establishment <laughs> so uh, I thought that's quite a fabulous story isn't it that is a very good story yeah it's a very good story Solange yeah. we have just run out of time but thank you so much thank you really interesting to see you at home well not at home but in your boutique surrounded by your wonderful world and great to see all those jewels so much thank you thank you maria thank you keep well bye, bye. bye. bye.